This is a brief video on how to use and set up your T-card system. So since we redeveloped it um, in the last month or so, I've had quite a few people um, start using it in all sorts of ways and quite a few people asking how they use it. So from the home screen, the top of your page, you've, you've probably seen, you've got the T-card planner. This is how uh, I recommend, well, this is how I've seen quite a few people using it, but I've also seen people using it um, to monitor the status of the parts as well. But you can use it, and the good thing is you can just use it however you want to use it. There's no fixed way at all. It's completely in your hands. So to modify the T-card system, simply go to Actions, and you need to switch to Configuration Mode. Then you'll notice that you have this bin and this cog appear. So to modify an existing bin, if you select the cog, you're going to be presented with this screen. Now you want to set all of the T-card containers to type order and subtype standard, apart from the first one on the left hand side, which is today's vehicles, but that should already be there on your T-card systems. If it's not there, today's vehicles must be set up as order and initial, but every other container must be order and standard. The name, um, is entirely up to you. Uh, what I recommend that you do, what you can do as well is you can actually use emojis um, and it helps from the job sheet status, which I'll show you later on. Um, just simply Google Unicode emoji list and you literally copy and paste the emoji. It's not the code, you actually copy and paste the image and the T-card system works with the emojis. Uh, you can change the color and you can have custom size or preset sizes of containers. You simply close it down. If I want to make a new one, I select create new container up here. And then I can just decide how tall I want it to be. So I'm going to change it to type order, subtype standard. I'm going to call this one the example container. And we'll call this one, we'll make it green. So it's as simple as that to make and modify. Obviously to remove, you simply select the bin. So that is how you create your T-card system. How, like I said, how you use it is up to you. You can create technician bays if you want to. So you would simply just rename one of them to a technician's details, but you still need order and standard. And then from this point, it's just a case of you drag and drop the jobs. If the jobs are scheduled correctly, on the left hand side, all of today's jobs will appear unless you preset a T-card status for a job sheet. So from within a job sheet and you can you can get to the job sheets from this uh, T-card system as well. You have this T-card container name. You may need to press show more up here to show it. But you select here and then you can actually change the status of the T-card uh, from within the job sheet. So if we select requires test drive, it's moved it over to requires test drive. Then if we drag it over to the example container, you can see it's changed the status to the example container. So that is how you uh, modify uh, and how you use the T-card system.